Hello all. Thank you for watching my videos. I did just upgrade the camera to a GoPro, so let's see how this goes. This is my first time with the GoPro, but in this video, what I'm going to be doing is just basic maintenance. I'm going to rechange the grease on the X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to be removing the grease on all the parts and re reapplying grease with some new super lube. You can get this on Amazon. I will put a link if you like, or I will put a link in the description. So let's get going. So what how, I've already done them already, but I will not bore you so much. I'll just do a little bit and reapply the grease. And, but the back, I didn't do any. So I guess we can start there. So pretty much all you want to do is just go around and you're just getting all the old grease off. Right up here has a whole bunch of it. Gets all nice and black. I know there's better ways to remove this than just using this and I will probably do that for the next time and understand this is a lot easier for everything else. Toothbrush might be better for here. There we go. And then you get the other side. Okay, I'm going to just raise it all the way up. And get the rest of here. And so, so you can all see. And what it looks like before, just clear. So it's breaking down over time. Don't forget about getting the other side. So, while I was cleaning, I noticed right in here, there's some. So, at this point it's kind of difficult, I already did the other side, but you have to get in right here. I have a flat head and I'm just trying to get this extra grease that's right here. Yep. See? There you go. There's another good amount. Okay, 
That's about the best I'm gonna do with that one. I'm gonna grab a different paper towel. So give me one second. So, because I already said that I got these, I'm gonna wipe just part of it down so you can kind of see. So, I'm gonna push that over so it'll just kind of wipe down. You can kind of see that's pretty clear. So, you know, wipe top, there's a bottom rail, and then you wanna get each side. So, I'm only gonna go right there. And I get them nice and good. That's probably under 10 hours. The other stuff has over 200 hours. So from here, I put a rubber glove on for my personal self. So, but I have, I work on cars on the spare, but I just put a whole bunch on and I just kind of wipe it through don't want to put too much I still have some on my fingers so I'm just gonna put it right on the back there we go from here what I do is I just kind of wipe it along make it a little bit smoother and then I will move the head. There we go. Next. Just remember, basic maintenance makes machine run better and longer without problems. Okay, those are nice and good. Oh, and then from here, I will run the bed over. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. There we go. And now, Just want to make a nice coat it with the new, nice new layer. Both sides, don't forget. I do just the top, and then I will pull the head all, all the way up, and I'll work on doing the bottom. Thank you for everyone that has subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel I do appreciate it so from here oh, I'm gonna go straight on up there we go There we go. Sorry for all everything in the way. I hope this camera is a lot better than me holding the phone. And then I just get the bottom. I will probably have to clean up some of mine because I do add probably a little bit more than needed. I'm not sure. If someone wants to weigh in, if anyone knows, that'd be great. And then I'm going to get the other side. There we go. Just like that. And once again, I will run the print head up and down. As you can see, it's a lot more clear and not so black. If you look, well, 
you look right up here though you can see that there's a nice big black poop on each side that I'm gonna clean up too I think I'm not gonna worry about the rest of it but I'm just gonna do that one bit right up there so right there just because that was a big chunk and same with the other side And because I removed some, I'm going to add a little bit new stuff on it. I work on vehicles, so for me, it's I like to make sure everything stays nice and lubed up. There we go. And that's just uh, pretty much... The lubing basic maintenance. I do understand that you should check the belts, check all the screws over every so often, make sure everything's still just fine. I'm gonna move this up now. So everything's moving nice. Check all your bolts. I've seen some people have problems back here. Double check that. Still good. Um, my print head's pretty good. So. Belts. You want to check those every now and then. And the check this belt you have to go from the back and look right oh, right there but I hope everyone liked this video please like comment subscribe I really do appreciate all the new subscribers that I do have I just hit 90 that's crazy my wife did say that if I hit 500 I get to buy the a1 from bamboo lab so i can put it up to this one and i am looking at possibly buying a new ace pro and a new part for right here and then down printing up the eight part and doing a review if you guys want to see that please give me a heads up as well thanks everyone once again and happy print printing to all if anyone is looking to purchase a Cobra 3 filament, uh, just extra replacement parts, I will add uh, a bunch of discount codes below that everyone can use. They run from $30 all the way up to $300 that you need to spend. And it's $30 off up to $30 off. So if you use them, that supports me. I They do give me an x amount of it not a lot but it does help me and it's able to help me get extra filament and extra like little printer stuff thank you once again and happy printing